out of chilling. Rabbit here. So it has been a while, but we are back out here at the pig pasture and we're going to continue on with the fencing here. Um, I don't know, it's been over a week. Um, Jody's up there. Zoom in here. Jody's up there picking up all the posts, putting them in the bucket. We're going to bring them down here, offload them, scatter them around. We've got some placed throughout here to that post and then down about halfway. So we got the rest of that to do down to that corner and then back around to this corner. Uh, I've got my str string still strung out over there. Maximus and I went over there and checked it out. String is still up. As soon as Jilly gets over here, we'll offload those and we'll get started putting some fence up. We're gonna have many difficulties today. <laughs> many difficulties today, but we will get something done. She comes, we're gonna get those posts offloaded and uh, get the fencing. We ran into a little problem here. I was trying to put this post in and it kept hitting something. There was two roots that I was hitting. Took the roots out and then we found this big old rock underneath there. I got her dug out, but uh, she's a big girl. She's probably three by two. 
So I started pounding on it with the sledge there a little bit. Jody's going to get the forks on the skid steer. I'm gonna start seeing if we can break it up. If we can't break it up, get a piece out. Cause we really only need this section over here taken out right here. Cause that's where a post is going through. So if we can get a piece out, that'd be fine with me, but if we can't, then we'll have to try to dig it up, see if I can get the forks under it. Or if the forks don't work, I'll have to go put the backhoe on the back of my Kubota, dig it out that way. So I'm gonna keep sledging, I guess, see if I can get it to crack. I got a chisel here too. Uh, big old cold chill there so if I get a crack started I can get this thing in there and, and beat on it too so yay it's, of course it's got to happen on the uh, hottest part of the freaking day it's about what is it two no it's five man time flies by when you're working your butt off it's five o'clock fours four to five 3.30 to 5 maybe. It's usually about the hottest part of the day. So, Yay. Couldn't have had the rock in the morning or in the evening. Had to have had it right now in the afternoon. But I'm going to quit complaining. Start swinging. So we beat at the rock for a half hour. Maximus did absolutely nothing except for stupervise. And we did get quite a bit. We got like, what, three big chunks out of it? And, I don't know, we got the majority of it gone, and then we hit the center of the stone, and it's it's about as hard as a diamond. <laughs> I mean, our chisel just keeps bouncing off of it. So I think we're going to have to get the skid steer in here, see if we can pick her up, see how that goes. So, look, battery on my tablet died um, as we were working along. We did get pretty much all the way down to the last post. Um, the only thing we have to finish up is I gotta cut little sections here to uh, attach to our posts because it's a little crooked. So I think what I'm gonna do to make sure it's good and secure, I'll cut a piece that comes back two sections to here and then I'll wire tie it on both all the way down and then I'll make sure It'll probably go a little bit past that, actually, um, because I want to make sure that I have a decent rod here, something I can actually staple to. Um, so I haven't quite figured out exactly what I'm going to do there, but I got my general idea. That rock, we ended up, it came out pretty good with the uh, skid steer. It came out and, I don't know, eight ten pieces so we actually did manage to split the outer casing of the rock all the way around it's just uh and it was bigger than we thought um once he got more towards the middle it was pretty it was pretty hard so that's the uh that's the boulder right there i think i can go ahead and call that a boulder a small boulder i mean there's my size 13 shoe so um we actually when we buried it we ended up leaving um about a third of it that cracked off in the in the hole because i just didn't want to have to use that much top so i don't have too much of a topsoil pile i didn't want to use too much of it on that hole so i left um, the bigger chunks. I just made sure where my post went down it wasn't going to hit. So I, I moved them all over to the side and then I dumped the dirt in and tamped her down. And... So we got a little bit here to do. Finish up. That's going to be another section that we're going to have to uh, finagle and get to that post at the proper angle. Because you can see it's it's not quite they're not quite uh, perpendicular, I guess the word would be. Parallel, maybe. One of those two. That's the fence. Um, 
I don't know, I think it took us probably, probably took us about eight, eight hours or so, I guess. Um, that includes our lunch break. But it took me 12 hours to do that one first section by myself. But that other section that I did is quite a bit longer. However, I did not have a small size boulder to crack in half and remove either. So, I mean, that boulder right there took us probably a good hour just getting that out so I'm glad it's done this one looks it looks pretty good so when we go around I think Jody and I have decided that we're going to not attach any of the posts we're going to do that last or that's something that I can work on myself but I really only need the help doing the full sections well, I mean it's nice getting help whenever I can get it but I really need the help doing the full sections because it is quite the pain in the butt trying to do it by yourself. And it's just, it's not worth it. Seems I've got so much other stuff around here to do. And I mean, yeah, I feel like my time is better used elsewhere on other projects. So it's going to take a little bit. I was hoping to have it done a week ago already, this pig pasture but or pig pen whatever you want to call it but it'll get there when it gets there stay tuned seeing as i'm not doing a time lapse of the whole thing anymore so uh appreciate you all everyone watching everyone subscribed um god bless have a good one here's a video of me messing around with it on my own enjoy Especially on the ground like that, the pigs find it, it won't be long before they can figure it out and they can get out. So, I'm going to go get my fence puller, I'm going to pull that one and replace it. Are you getting sassy? Are you getting sassy? Got a dirty mouth. Dirty boy. You want me to rub your belly and then you want to fight with me?
Thank you.